An annual Christmas light display serving a good cause every year is back for the 25th time. Reporter Lauren Davis explains what goes into setting up Christmas in the park and why it's special to so many. The Minot Sartoma Club has been around for more than 50 years. Club president David Gowan is also the leader for setting up Christmas in the park. We start putting up November 1 and within a couple of weeks we have all 60 displays uh, installed. For 25 years the displays have been handmade by club members. Source Valley Ready Mix actually welds all of our stuff together and then we wire and bulb everything right here in this shed and we pretty much have made everything in the park. He says that on the rare chance a light display becomes broken, they're quick to fix it. We've had winds up to 60 miles an hour and uh, almost no damage. Uh, squirrels tend to bite through our wires once in a while and we fix them out there. This is the organization's biggest fundraiser, but the Sartoma Club doesn't keep any of the money from admission costs. We give away all of our money to kids programs, uh, speech and hearing at Minot State University. We've given money to Mesa Arena. Emily Christensen says she and her family look forward to it every year and she loves that the proceeds benefit others. It's very, very exciting to that um, our money goes towards the Sertoma group. We um, have had a couple friends that have benefited, benefited through um, hearing aids and stuff like that through Sertoma. Gowan says that he encourages everyone to come through the park even if there's snow on the ground. Minot Park park system is really, really good. They're, they keep the roads plowed out and they're extremely helpful. Christensen had one last thing to say before driving through the park for the first time this year. Merry Christmas! For KX News in Minot, I'm Lauren Davis. Christmas in the park lasts all month long and will run you $5 per car. You can view the lights at Oak Park every day starting at 530. It closes at 10 except Friday and Saturday when it closes a half hour later at 1030.